guys, it's Alexis from Wild Hearts Yoga. I am back with another powerful flow here today. We are going to be working on King Dancer. That is our peak pose today. So if you have a strap, that's gonna be super helpful for your practice. We're gonna be doing Dancer in our flow. Another thing that you can use is a towel. Um, and if you have a book or a block, that'll be super helpful just to have by, just in case you might need it. We all need a little support sometimes. And for today's intention for class, uh, this is just something that has been really present in my life, especially today, is choosing to respond rather than react when you're confronted with something that may be challenging. Uh, and I know that off my mat, that has been really prevalent for me um, in relationships, new relationships uh, with people that I don't know very well. Um, just choosing my response and choosing to be grounded and take a breath before I, I react to anything, um, I think is going to serve me really well. And on my mat, that looks like not coming out of a pose when it gets really challenging and choosing to stay. So today let's get started on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana or reclined bound angle. So you will take the soles of your feet to touch and your knees will splay out wide. And you'll place one hand on your heart or one hand on your belly. You can also cactus out your arms for a passive shoulder opener if you'd like. But here I'm going to stay grounded today. I need a little bit of extra support. So I'm going to keep my hand on my belly and on my heart. And just begin to breathe here any way. Just connect with your breath. And it doesn't have to be a certain length right now or make a certain sound. Just breathe. And if you're like me and you had kind of a strange morning, um, just some things that maybe are in the back of your mind or coming to the forefront now that you have quieted the chatter, I would, and what I'm doing, is to become aware of those things and then make the choice to stay present in this moment with my breath. If you've closed your eyes, slowly open your eyes and look at one point on the ceiling to really be present here in this space. To bring your body and your mind here into this moment and into this room. Let's start our ujjayi breath. So constrict your throat muscles so that you feel your glottis turn on in your throat. And inhale through your nose for four counts. Exhale through your nose with your lips closed. So you'll continue this ujjayi breath. with the exhales resembling a ha sound, like you're fogging up a mirror, but your lips are closed. We'll take three more just like that. Then slowly draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a squeeze and feel the compression in the front side of your hips and your hip flexors, maybe in the tops of your quads. And then shoot your legs up the wall without a block. This is some core work here actually, so bring your navel in towards your spine and zip up your low back onto the mat so there's no space between your lumbar spine and the floor. 
and then flex your toes towards your shins and kick up through your heels to straighten your legs even more. You can place your hands down by your sides or you can grip the edges of your mat for some more support. But we're gonna lower the legs 30 degrees. So take an inhale. On your exhale, lower down 30 degrees or a third of the way down to the floor. Good, feel your quads turn on. Keep kicking out through your heels. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower down two thirds of the way or 60 degrees. Keep that spine, that lower spine zipped up on the mat. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower down two inches off of the mat. And at the same time, peel your chest up off the mat and your shoulder blades come up. Reach out through your hands. Look at your toes. Good, flutter kick your feet up and down here. Gaze is set on the toes. Belly draws in towards your spine. Reach through the fingertips to lift up a little bit higher. Three more. Last two. Last one. Draw the feet back all the way up to the sky. And legs up the wall. Hands can come down by the sides or grip the mat. Second round. Inhale, press up through the heels. Exhale, lower down 30 degrees or a third of the way. Relax your upper body. Good, take a breath in. Exhale, lower down two thirds of the way. Good, unclench your teeth. Take your breath in. Exhale, lower down two inches off of the floor. Peel your shoulder blades up, reach to your feet, and then click your heels together. Keep your toes flexed. Good, keep drawing down through the belly button, reaching out through the fingertips, clicking the feet. Good, three more. Two more, one more, pause here. Then with this foot variation, drop your head and your shoulders, inhale up two thirds of the way, we're reversing it, good. Exhale, inhale up to a third of the way, exhale, and inhale back up, legs up the wall. Good, draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a hug and a squeeze, maybe massage out that low spine. And we're gonna rock up to boat pose. So you can grab the backs of your thighs and take three full rocks, massaging out your entire spine, feeling your vertebra on the mat. And then come up to boat pose on your third rock. So let's set up with intention here. Hands stay at the backs of the thighs. Draw your heart closer to your knees. And then melt your shoulder blades down your back. Keep your feet active. And if you'd like to release your hands here, you can release them down by your sides. And keep your thoracic spine engaged and pressing through to the front of your body. Take an inhale. Exhale, low boat. Hover the shoulders and the feet. Reach the fingers towards the heels. Inhale, high boat. You can straighten those legs or keep them bent. You choose. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, high boat. I'm going to raise my arms this time. It's going to pull my heart forward. I'm going to kick out through my heels. Exhale, low boat. One more time. Inhale, high boat. Reach up. Exhale, low boat, and then bank your boat. Reach your left fingers to your left foot, right fingers to your right foot. To the left, to the right, left, right. One more time, left, right. Oh, draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a hug and a squeeze. Whew. Core is warm. Let's rock up to a tabletop position. Come on to all fours. And then move organically here. You can, you can take cat cows. Um, I am going to crawl over to the sides to stretch out my intercostal muscles, those muscles between my ribs. So feel free to move in a way that feels good in your body right now to warm up your spine and listen to some of those Areas that are tweaky or stuck. We'll take two more breaths. I'll take some barrel rolls here as well. Hips come back over my heels. 
We'll meet in a neutral tabletop. Neutral because our pelvis is neutral, so draw that space between your um, pubic bone and your belly button up and in. And then step back into a high plank. Good. Engage your thumb and your pointer fingers, the base knuckles there, and press down through your fingertips on those fingers, on both hands. Feel your forearms activate. Shoulders are stacked over the wrists, and then I just lifted the backs of my knees to the sky to engage my legs, so try that. And gaze is set a few inches in front of your mat to elongate your spine. If you're starting to feel a challenge arise for you here, how can you choose your response? You can choose to stay, you can choose to drop your knees to come into a supported high plank. Make the choice and take two more breaths. On your next exhale, slower, slowly lower all the way down onto your belly. Once you arrive on your belly, interlace your fingers at the base of your skull and press down through the tops of your feet. Feel your pinky toes press into the mat. On your inhale, lift your chest. Use the strength of your back to activate your lats and draw your shoulder blades down your spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, melt it down. Two more like that. Lat lifts. Inhale, peel your chest up. Exhale, lower it down. Use the pressing down of your feet and your hips. On your next inhale, but peel your chest up a little bit higher. Elbows reach out towards opposite sides of your space. Take another inhale, lift a little bit higher. Then exhale, melt all the way down. A little more back body work today. Arms come down by your sides, and we'll take locust pose. On your inhale, press through your hips, but lift your feet up off the mat this time, and then lift the backs of your hands to the sky, and your triceps will follow them. Good, inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, melt it down. Forehead to the mat. Next, inhale, locust pose again. Can you lift your feet up a little bit higher? And reach back with your fingers towards your feet. And exhale, melt it down. One more time, locust pose. Inhale, peel your chest up. And feel lightness in your upper body. Feel lightness in your feet, maybe through your quads. And exhale, melt it down. Hands come to your sides. On your inhale, press up to a tabletop or a high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your inhale, look to your hands and exhale, take little steps to meet your hands with your feet. Ragdoll pose, once you arrive, feet are at hips width distance or wider. You grab opposite elbows and swing side to side. And find ease here in this pose. So find that you're easefully drawing down through your upper body so that your elbows come closer to the mat. And find a release in your head and your neck. And maybe bring some more ease into it by shaking your head yes and shaking your head no. Maybe rolling it around a little bit. And then release your hands to the mat and step back to downward facing dog. On your inhale, look to your hands. And on your exhale, step, jump, hop to the top. On your halfway lift, take a breath in. And on your forward fold, tuck your chin in toward your chest. Mountain pose, root to rise. Inhale, reach up. 
Lengthen through your side bodies and turn the inner thighs towards the back of your space. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Take another breath in as you reach up. Exhale, uh, we're going to side body stretch, but take your left foot behind your right. Interlace your fingers for Kali Mudra and then take the side bend. So I'm pointing through both pointer fingers, drawing my thumbs up to the sky. All other fingers are interlaced. I'm pressing my left hip to the side as I dome out through the right side of my body. Inhale back to mountain pose. Keep your legs crossed. On your exhale, forward fold with this leg variation to set us up for an IT band stretch. So you can crawl both hands over to the right side and press down through your left heel and the ball of your left foot to find a deeper stretch in your left IT band. Crawl your fingertips back forward to center and then uncross your feet for mountain pose, root to rise, reach up on your inhale on your exhale, we're going to take that side body stretch over to the left side, right foot steps behind the left. Interlace all fingers except pointers and thumb. Then reach up and over, pressing your right hip towards the side. Then draw your right shoulder down and back to open up your chest. On your inhale, come to center, press through your feet for stability. Then exhale, fold with the cross of your legs. And take an IT band stretch on this side. You can crawl both hands over to the left. And then root down through the four corners of your right foot to really find the deep IT band stretch. We'll come back to center and cross the feet. Halfway lift on your inhale. On your exhale, step it back for high plank. Big toes can touch, or you can draw your feet out wider if you'd like a little bit more stability. Then pull your belly button up and in. Dome out through your upper back. Then we'll take side plank on the left. So left hand plants in the center of your mat. Right arm will reach high to the sky. Look up towards your top thumb. So gaze is set right there. Draw your right shoulder blade down and back. Maybe lift your top leg instead. Engaging your Uddiyana Bandha. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Come back to a high plank on your inhale. On your exhale, right hand plant, side plank to the left. Press your left hip up to the sky and look up to your left thumb. Maybe hover that top foot. Make a choice. Choose to respond. Choose your variation. Breath in. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward into your toes. Exhale, low plank. Elbows draw in towards your ribs. Good, pull your chest through your arms. Inhale, upward facing dog. Tops of your feet, root down into the earth. Then use the strength of your arms to draw your shoulder blades down your back and open up your collarbones. Breath in, downward facing dog, breath out. Big inhale, exhale, step jump, hop to the top. Halfway lift, breath in. Forward fold, breath out. Mount pose, rise. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, side body stretch with the foot crossed, left behind the right. Press the left hip out to the side. Inhale to center, keep your feet crossed. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift, maybe just tent up through your fingertips. Then exhale, step the feet together, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up, root through your feet. 
Exhale, the right foot behind the left, side body stretch to the left. Inhale, back to center, mountain pose. Pull the belly in and then hinge from the hips, forward fold. Halfway lift, come up onto the fingertips. Exhale, step together, fold. Inhale, one more halfway lift with a flat back. Draw the tailbone back. Then exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog on your breath in. Downward facing dog breath out. One more time through to fully warm up our spine. Inhale, look to your hands. Shorten your down dog. Then exhale, hover your knees and hop. Feet to hands. Halfway lift, breath in. Fold, breath out. Mountain pose, rise. Reverse swan dive, sweep up. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Left foot steps behind. Keep the feet crossed. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Lead with the center of the chest. Halfway lift, come onto your fingertips. Exhale, fold, step the feet together. Mountain pose, reverse swan dive up, reach, inhale. Exhale, side body stretch, right foot steps behind the left. Inhale to mountain pose, draw the front ribs together. Then exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Then exhale, step the feet together, forward fold. Halfway lift, this time press into your shins or your thighs, lengthen. Then exhale, chaturanga. Step back, jump back. High to low plank. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. And inhale, reach your right leg high to the sky. Press down through the L's of your hands. And press your heart closer to your left knee. Reach your right heel higher to the sky and turn your right pinky toe down to square off your hip. Bend and stack open your hips here. And roll out your ankle today a few times clockwise and a few times counterclockwise, tucking in with the upper body and re-squaring those shoulders. Inhale, back to a three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Draw it across your body. Keep your toes flexed. On your inhale, come back to a three-legged dog. Right leg reaches high. Exhale with control. Step your right foot between your hands for low lunge. And drop your back knee. For half split, shift, you shift your weight back. Flex your right toes. Stay here for a moment. Open up your hamstring. If you'd like a deeper stretch today, you can crawl both hands over to the outside of your right leg. And this will deepen the stretch in the belly of your right hamstring. Come back to a low lunge. Peel your left knee up off the mat. And on your inhale, moving from your midline, the center of your body, crescent lunge. So start to notice through the transitions where you move from your body and see if you can move with your core. If you can engage your midline to drive your movements instead of using your extremities. Sink lower into your hips. Draw your left hip forward and your right hip back. Shoulders out of your ears. Pinky fingers turn in towards one another. Take a breath in and lengthen. On your exhale, cactus your arms and back bend here in crescent lunge. Maybe look up if it's comfortable and drop your head back over your throat. Inhale, press back up, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus arm twist to the right. So both arms will come into L's. And you'll draw your right shoulder and your right elbow back. Your left shoulder 
and your left elbow forward, sink low into that front knee. Stay here with the legs, exalted warrior. Inhale your left bicep up by your ear. Right arm wraps behind your back. Then on your exhale, warrior two to the back of your space. And if you'd like to take some movements here to bend and straighten out through the left leg, you can do that. And then we'll come to warrior two. The front heel will bisect the back foot so that the middle of your left heel comes to the middle of your right arch, inner arch. And take a little lower. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Lengthen through the left side. Turn the left shoulder back. Gaze is set in the ceiling. On your exhale, extended side angle, but with beach ball arms today. So keeping a deep bend in that front knee, reach both arms out to the side or to the back of your mat, and draw your right shoulder blade back. On your inhale, sweep your arms down and forward to turbo crescent. Back heel will stack over your back toes. Deep bend in the left knee. Inhale, lengthen and reach forward with your arms. Exhale, standing splits. Launch off of your back foot. Plant down through your hands. So you may need to bend your left knee a little bit more to do this. So take the modifications you need on the left side and reach your right leg higher at the sky. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Look towards your left knee. And start to shift your gaze forward towards your fingertips and slowly rise to a half staff. Right knee will come in towards your chest. Biceps come up by your ears. Lift your left kneecap. Shoulders out of your ears, melt them down your back. Take an inhale. On your exhale, grab the inside of your right foot with your right hand. Your left arm will stay reaching to the sky. In the flow, you can stay here in the quad stretch. Or in your inhale, you can kick out to dancer's pose. Drawing your right hip down in line with your left. Kicking your right hand, your right foot into your right hand. Pull your belly button in. Lengthen through your left arm. That's your inhale. Stay for your exhale. On your inhale, control your transition to a full staff. Kick out through your right leg. Then exhale, fold. Drop it all the way down. On your inhale, chair pose. Arms sweep down and up. We're still facing the back of the mat. Your weight shifts into your heels and out of your toes. So see if you can draw all 10 toes up off the mat. And see if you can sink your hips in line with your knees. Take a breath in and come up onto your tippy toes for toppling chair. So arms reach out, biceps up by your ears, and your hips sink low, but your heels are really, really high. And on your exhale, sink your hips to your heels and come to Malasana squat. So that'll be one movement in the flow. So our first time here in Malasana squat, use your elbows, press them to the insides of your knees, and sink your hips low. Thumbs press into the center of your chest. Find groundedness here. And then you'll have choices to flow through the remainder of this transition. You can hover your squat on your inhale and reach your hips back. Or from Malasana squat, you can plant your hands and come to crow pose. So you'll create a shelf with your arms and you'll shift your weight forward. Gaze is set a few inches in front of your mat. One foot comes off the mat, maybe the other foot. And then you can jump back or step back 
chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Big breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale your left leg high. And press your hands again, so find the suction in your palms. Grip the mat with your fingertips so you feel super rooted through the foundation of your hasta bandhas. And then ground down through your right heel. Keep reaching it to the mat so you have foundation in your pada bandha. Then bend and stack open your hip on the left. Roll out your ankle. Gaze is set at the back of your mat so that your neck is relaxed and your upper body is not engaged. Inhale back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Inhale back to a three-legged dog. Exhale, slowly step it through, low lunge with control. Drop to your back knee for half splits. So the left side of this flow will face the back of your mat. So you're still facing the back of your mat. And to deepen this stretch, crawl your fingertips over to the left. For a deeper stretch. And come back to a low lunge. Peel your right knee up off the mat. And using the strength of your feet and your legs, root them down right here. So your legs are holding you up. And then sweep your arms up to crescent lunge. So left thigh is parallel to the mat. The back of your right knee presses up to the sky to engage your right hamstring. And then draw your left knee out to your left pinky toe. Really light up through the fingertips and activate your arms. Take an inhale. Exhale, cactus your arms back bend. Press your heart forward. And then draw your shoulder blades down and back towards your hips. Inhale, back to crescent lunge. Pull your belly button in. Exhale, cactus arms, open twist. So your left shoulder and left elbow is reaching back and your right shoulder and your right elbow's reaching forward. Legs stay right where they are. Inhale, exalted warrior. Right bicep comes by the ear. Feel your legs alive. Exhale, warrior two. Now to the front of your mat. So set up the feet, front heel bisects the back foot. And then you can floss out the joint, bend and straighten through your right knee. Then come to stillness in your warrior two. Look over your front middle, middle finger and reverse your warrior on your inhale. Gaze follows your right hand. Feel the side body stretch. On your exhale, extended side angle but with those beach ball arms. So both arms reach towards the front of your mat. And then you'll open up your chest by drawing your left shoulder back. Keep reaching, reaching, reaching out to the side. Then inhale, turbo crescent. Back foot switches, so heels over the toes. Arms reach out long. Right thigh is parallel to the mat. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Take an inhale. Then exhale, standing splits. Palms plant. Left foot reaches high to the sky. Chin tucks in towards your chest. Let gravity draw the crown of your head closer to the floor. Resist gravity by pushing up through your left heel. And with control, pendulum your body forward to half staff. Balancing on your right leg. Inhale, reach your arms high. On your exhale, grab the inside of your left foot with your left hand. You can stay here in the quad stretch, 
or inhale, kick into dancers. Exhale, drop from your hips. Slowly come back to a full step. Kick out through your left leg. Then exhale, fold, drop. On your inhale, chair pose. As your fingertips reach up to the sky, your gaze stays set on the horizon. So you're just looking straight forward in front of you. Your legs are engaged, your knees are over your ankles. Take your breath in, come up onto your tippy toes. Maybe sink your hips a little bit lower. One more inhale, heels higher. Exhale, hips to heels, hands to heart. Step out to Malasana, that's one movement in the flow. And then you have your choice to come to a hovering squat or a crow pose. So I will come to crow, bringing my knees to the insides of my armpits, backs of my triceps, looking forward, bringing my feet up, taking a breath in, exhale, jump back, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Take a big breath in through your nose, sigh it out. We'll flow through that breath per movement and you'll choose the responses that you want to experience in each and every pose. So inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee, left tricep, drop all the way up to the armpit. Inhale, reach it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Straight to crescent, inhale, reach the arms high. Look to the horizon. Then exhale, cactus the arms, look up, open the throat. Inhale, crescent lunge, look forward. Exhale, cactus your arms, look over to the right. Inhale, exalted warrior, keep your gaze right there, left bicep by the ear. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, reverse your warrior, look up to your left thumb. Then exhale, extended side angle, look up to your right thumb, draw that right shoulder back. Turbo crescent, sweep your arms forward. Look a few inches in front of the back of your mat. Then keep your gaze there and launch into standing splits, right leg high. Inhale, half staff, right knee chambers in. Gaze is set on the horizon. Then exhale, keep your gaze there, reach back for your right foot. On your inhale, kick into dancer's pose. Then on your exhale, deepen the pose. Slowly come out into a full staff, maybe wobble, maybe smile, then exhale, drop it, fold. Inhale, chair pose, graze your fingertips, sink your hips back. Exhale, come up onto your tippy toes. Inhale your hips to your heels, then exhale, malasana squat. You can inhale hovering squat or take crow pose. Then exhale flow, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale left knee, right tricep. Inhale, reach your left leg up. And then exhale, step it through between your hands. Crescent lunge, look up, follow your fingers, and then keep your gaze there this time, back bend, deepen. Inhale, crescent lunge, gaze is set. Exhale, cactus the arms, look over to the side. Inhale, exalted warrior, gaze stays right there. Then exhale, warrior two, set it over the right middle finger. Inhale, reverse your warrior, look up and back. Then exhale, extended side angle with those beach ball arms like you're holding a beach ball. Then turbo crescent on your inhale. 
Exhale, drop your hands for standing splits, left leg reaches. Inhale, pendulum through the hips. Left knee reaches up and in towards your chest. And then exhale, grab the inside of your left foot. <sighs> Inhale, start to transform into a dancer. Keeping your chest lifted and your right arm reaching high. Exhale, deepen. Ooh. Maybe fall out. Inhale, reach through your left foot. And exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, come up onto your tippy toes for toppling chair. Then on your inhale, drop your hips to your heels. And exhale, malasana squat. Inhale, hovering squat or crow pose. And then exhale, step back, jump back. Bend your elbows if you're jumping back. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale it over to the opposite tricep. Inhale, reach out long through your lifted foot. Exhale, step through low lunge. Crescent lunge, nice wide stance with your feet. Inhale, then exhale, back bend. Keep your legs right where they are, crescent lunge. I adjusted my left hip so they're square. And cactus out your arms, open twist. Keep your legs where they are. Inhale, exalted warrior, left arm high. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your space with your feet. Inhale, reverse, keep the bend in your left knee. Then exhale, extended side angle with those hands grabbing an imaginary beach ball. Inhale, turbo crescent. Arms reach forward. Exhale, standing splits. Inhale, slowly rise, half stack with control. Engage your core. Exhale, grab the inside of your right foot. Come to that quad stretch. Inhale, transform into your dancer on this side. Drive the pose with the kick in your back foot. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, full staff. Slowly transition with a straight right leg. Then exhale, full drop. Inhale, chair pose. Pull your belly in. Sink your hips low. Exhale, come up high onto those tippy toes. Toppling chair. Inhale, hips to heels. Exhale, open up, malasana. Inhale, hovering squat or crow pose. You choose. For hovering squat, reach your arms really far out. Then exhale, step back, jump back. You can always skip the chaturanga and hold a high plank and meet us in downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale it to the opposite tricep. Inhale that left leg high. Exhale, step it through low lunge. Crescent lunge, root down through both feet, right up with the arms. Exhale, back bend, cactus, open up the heart. Inhale, back to crescent, engage the core, and use it to twist, cactus your arms. Inhale, exalted warrior, legs stay deep. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your space. Inhale, reverse your warrior, keep the bend in your right foot. Then exhale, reach out with both arms. Take a version of this extended side angle. Turbo crescent, sweep the arms down and forward. Then exhale, launch to standing splits. Left heel reaches high. Half staff, control the transition. Maybe your hair gets in your face, reach up. Then exhale, grab for the inside of your left foot. Set your gaze. Inhale, start to kick back. And then exhale, deepen. Drive it with your foot. Pull your belly in for stability. Slowly come back up, full staff. And exhale, drop. 
forward fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, toppling chair. Come up onto the tippy toes. Inhale, hips to heels. Maybe knees grab. Exhale, malasana squat. Hovering squat or crow pose on your inhale. And then exhale, step back, jump back. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. One more time on each side before we change it up. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, can you dome out through your upper body to step your foot through your hands while they're planted? And then cross and lunge, inhale. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, cactus arm open, twist to the right. Exalted warrior, right hand can wrap behind the back. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Keep the bend of your left knee, reverse your warrior. Exhale, version of extended side angle. Both arms reach out through the back of your mat. Then sweep your arms down and back to turbo crescent on your inhale. Exhale, standing split. Right leg reaches high. <clears throat> Root down through the four corners of your left foot to rise up to half staff. I inhale, do you inhale too? Exhale, grab the inside of your right foot. And then we'll inhale to lengthen through the left side and kick into the right hand with your right foot. Deep in, square off your hips. And slowly pendulum back, full staff on your inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Hips low, arms high. Exhale, up onto the tippy toes, toppling chair. Inhale, hips to heels. Exhale, malasana squat, sinking them. Then you can inhale, hovering squat or crow pose. You choose. Big breath in. And then exhale, step back, jump back. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. One more side before we change it up. Inhale the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Inhale, reach through your left ball of your foot. And then can you dome out through the upper back and step the foot between the hands? I'm gonna try that again. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, draw the knee up and forward so you can step right through your hands. Yes. And then crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, back bend, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus arm, open twist to the left. Inhale, exalted warrior. You can take the half bind with your left hand. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, beach ball extended side angle. Inhale, turbo crescent. Exhale, standing splits, plant down through those palms, drop your head. And then your gaze will drive this pose. So as you look forward and up, your back leg follows you, and then you reach up, inhale. Exhale, grab the inside of your left foot. Inhale, lengthen through your right arm. Then exhale, kick, dancer's pose, deep in. Drawing the left hip down in line with the right. So like come back up to full staff, kick out, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Nope, exhale, fold. <laughs> inhale, chair pose. And then exhale, toppling tree. Inhale, hips to heels. Exhale, malasana squat. Inhale, hovering squat or crow pose. And then exhale, step back, jump back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Two 
Two more breaths. We're gonna flow through that with some changes. And I'll let you know when they're coming. So you could choose your response. And if I don't let you know that you're that they're coming, you can choose to respond instead of reacting like, why didn't you let me know? Okay, deal? Deal. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale it over to the opposite tricep. And see, can you get it a little bit higher than the last step? Inhale, reach up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale to crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus arm back bend. And I'm sinking in through my hips this time to really feel the psoas stretch and the back bend at the same time. So try that here too. Inhale, press up. Exhale, cactus open arm twist to the right. Inhale, exalted warrior. Then exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, reverse. And this time we'll take extended side angle. Left arm will drop, right arm will reach up. And you can use the inside of your left elbow to press into your left knee. And if you'd like to take a half bind with the lifted arm, you can wrap it behind your back. And if you'd like to take a full bind and reach back with your left hand to grab your right arm, you can do that too. And if you'd like to do Birds of Paradise or any other up level here, you can do that. And I'm gonna stay in the full line today. Okay, well, inhale, reverse your triangle. Unleash the bind if you have it. Left bicep comes up and over the ear. Then exhale, we'll windmill it down to standing splits. Right leg reaches high. So you can stay here in standing splits, planting down through the palms and taking the same variation we did throughout the practice. Or if you'd like to try to balance, you can grab your left ankle with your left hand and then your left ankle with your right hand and drop your gaze to the back of your mat. Leg stays lifted, crown of the head reaches to the floor. Maybe you're testing your boundaries and finding new places to go, and that's awesome. And then I'm going to grab my strap. If you have your strap nearby or your towel or your blanket or whatever, grab it. <clears throat> we'll come to a half step with the strap. So if your toe touches, it's perfect. Reach your right knee up. You will keep balancing on your left leg, engage your quad, and make a loop with your strap. Place it around the ball of your right foot. And if it slips, you can um, try it again, and you can grab closer to where the loop is, and draw it up and over your head so that the strap hangs down your back. And you'll grab the strap with both hands and pull up on the strap, drawing your right hip down in line with your left to square it off, but using the strap to help you get into king dancer's pose. And if you'd like to go deeper, you can choke up on the strap to pull your foot closer to your head. Use the strength of your biceps and the help of the strap to deepen this pose with each exhale. You can slowly come out when you're ready, letting the strap melt down your back. And then forward fold, I'm taking gorilla pose, placing your palms underneath your feet. Tickle your wrists with your toes, drop your head and your neck. 
With each exhale, pull up on your feet with your hands and draw your chest closer to your thighs. And slowly release gorilla pose. We'll come to chair pose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come to toppling chair high up onto those toes. Then inhale, sink your hips to your heels. And take Malasana squat. And for this time, if you want to try crow or another variation of crow, you can try taking the arm balance. So plant down through both hands. Big toes will touch. And then you'll squat down to come into crow pose. And you lift both feet up off of the mat, just like crow. And then I'll shift the weight into my right knee on my tricep. And I'll reach my left leg back behind me, pressing out through my left foot, keeping it engaged. Yeah, that's just something to try if you'd like a different variation. And then you can take that all the way through to Chaturanga. You can hold the high plank and come to downward facing dog. We've got one more side. I've moved my strap to the top of my mat so I have it when I need it for King Dancer. Inhale, reach your left leg high. Exhale, draw it across to the opposite tricep. And see, can you get it up a little bit higher? Inhale, reach your left leg back. Then exhale, step it through to your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach up. Then exhale, cactus arm back bend. And maybe really dip through the hip on the right side to stretch out that psoas a little more. Inhale, press up to crescent. Exhale, cactus arm, open twist to the left. Press out through the back leg to straighten and engage it for exalted warrior. Inhale, reach the right bicep up. Maybe take the half bind with the left hand. Then exhale, warrior two to the back or front of your space now. Good, inhale, reverse. And then exhale, extended side angle. You can use the right um, elbow to press into the inside of your right leg. Then draw your left hip back and draw your right hip underneath your right rib. Engage your back leg. You can take the half bind or the full bind. And if you'd like to come into Birds of Paradise or Evolve Half Moon, you can totally do that. And I'm just gonna hold the full bind today. So you choose your response. And don't just react to what you've done in the past. Respond to what you need right now. Slowly unwind. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Then exhale, window the arms to standing splits. Left leg reaches up. <clears throat> I'm gonna back up a little bit. You can plant down through both palms and stay there, or you can test your balance, grabbing for your right ankle with one or both hands. And then like, yeah, if you fall out, seeing if you can come back in. Noticing, appreciating, and accepting the differences with both of your sides. And then we'll grab the strap and come up to a half staff. If your toe touches down, no problem. Engage your right quad. And then we'll wrap the strap around the ball of the left foot. And we'll take it back and around. Good, and what I need to do here is really suction down through my right foot. So I'm going to really root down through the four corners of my foot by lifting it up and placing it back down. And then I'm gonna lift the quad on the right side. So I'm strong and straight in the grounded leg. And then 
When I'm ready, I'll grab the strap up and overhead and grab it with both hands. Choke up on this strap and I'll pull my left foot closer to my head, setting my gaze for stability, drawing my abs in. Straight and strong through the standing leg, lift the right knee. And slowly unleash the side. Strap comes down. Inhale, mountain. And then exhale, fold. Inhale to chair pose. Exhale, hips to heels. Oh, exhale, toppling chair. Inhale, hips to heels. Exhale, molasana squat. And if you'd like to try that arm balance on this side, you'll start out with crow. So toes come to touch. You'll create a shelf with your arms and draw your knees to the backs of your triceps and reach one or both feet up. And then you'll shift the weight this time into your left side and kick out through your right leg. A little hard to do that and talk at the same time. So if you'd like to try that again, come to crow, shift the weight into the left side, keep your left foot engaged, and then right foot will sweep back. And then you'll hold the high plank or flow through a chaturanga to downward facing dog. Woo. Inhale, reach your right leg high to the sky. Let's slow it down, half pigeon. If half, half pigeon isn't working for you today, you can come to figure four on your back. I'm going to take a few breaths here to set up and gather myself. And if you're feeling like I am, you can do the same. Right toes are flexed. Back foot presses on the mat. And you can come to sleeping pigeon when you're ready. Plant down through both palms and V out your arms. Reach them towards opposite corners of the front of your mat. And if you'd like to deepen today in your half pigeon, you can thread the needle by drawing your left arm underneath your right and out to the side. And if you'd like to deepen even further, you can wrap your right arm around the small of your back for a half bind. Left ear will come to your mat. Just an option, you can always stay in sleeping pigeon or up on a block or on your hands or in figure four. Lots of options for you to choose. Choose your path, your response. Binds and wind. Come back to center for sleeping pigeon. Take a breath in and a breath out. And on your inhale, come back to a three-legged dog. Then stack open your hips. Stay here or flip your dog. Both feet plant down on the mat. Your right bicep will come by your right ear. Press your hips up to the sky. We'll come back to a three-legged dog and downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg high to the sky. Take half pigeon on the left side or figure four if you did so on the other side. And we'll set up here as we did on the other side. So keep your chest lifted. 
press down through the top of your back foot and your heel will come straight back from your hip. So you can adjust as necessary. And here I'm really making these micro adjustments in my pelvis so, and in my hip. So I'm drawing my left hip back and my right hip forward and I'm pulling my belly button in and up. And then I'll drop down to sleeping pigeon. After everything is nice and engaged, I will surrender. And if you did so on the other side, take thread the needle here in half pigeon, reach your right arm out to the side, and you can reach your left arm behind the small of your back for the half bind. Right here comes to the mat. Slowly unravel your bind. Come back to center for half pigeon for a full round of breath. And press up to a three-legged like dog on your inhale. Bend and stack and flip your dog if you choose on your exhale. Cactusing your top arm will help you to open up your chest a little bit, so you could try that. And we'll be back in a three-legged dog, downward facing dog. Come down onto your knees. And we'll take um, reverse plank. So draw your hands down by your hips and then draw your feet uh, down onto the mat. That's for reverse tabletop. For reverse plank, your legs will come out long. So choose what works best for you. Then press up through your hands and through your hips. Then drop your head back. Look back, open up your throat. Take an inhale. Lion's breath out. And your exhale, stick your tongue out. One more time, inhale. Lion's breath. And come all the way down to a seat. Legs stay long. For seated forward fold, inhale your arms high, and exhale, fold. And come all the way down onto your back when you're ready, releasing that forward fold and taking your time. <clears throat> then inhale your right knee in towards your chest, round your rib cage and give it a squeeze. On your exhale, supine twist, draw it across the body, right arm will tee out. Look over to your right fingers. Slow, slow, slow breaths in and out. And slowly come back to center your both knees into your chest. Keep your left knee there, right leg comes out long. Draw it up and around the rib cage on your inhale. Exhale, supine twist, stack the hips. Right hip, left hip over right. Look to your left fingers. And come back to center, both knees into the chest. 
And then exhale, Shavasana. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you to flatten your back. And just take the next few moments, honestly, to choose how you're going to move from this space to the next. And I invite you to choose with that calm, connected, centered energy that you've cultivated here for the last hour. You can choose to stay here in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. And if you're ready to come out, roll over onto your left side for a fetal position. Use your left bicep as a pillow. And slowly press up to a seat in the center of your mat. And draw your hands to your heart sign. I wish for you to always be in your power by choosing to respond in the way that works best for you, by taking the pause before reacting so that you can stay not only in the present moment, but in control. Draw your thumbs to your third eye center. Namaste.